Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. You know, I just finished up doing a video about CeeDee Lamb and part of the problems that he has and is going to have this season, which is he's going to get more attention being that he was the Cowboys' number one receiver, breaking all kinds of records, he's going to get more and more coverage. The teams are going to basically say, that is the one guy, if we stop, we stop the Cowboys. And that means he is going to get the lion's share of the attention. Um, I'm seeing Patrick Walker is posting about C.D. Lamb taking accountability for what happened with his actions. CeeDee Lamb stood account on accountability after his action with the Cowboys lost to the Ravens. The All-Pro says his emotions got the best of him, and he'll do better going forward with balancing passion and channeling it a different way. As for his relationship with Dak Prescott, we understand the urgency, and that's between us. We talk about it every day, every night, and if anything, our relationship has gotten stronger. Don't let what's out there fool you. We're brothers to the end, and we know we're all that we're all we got. It's all, it's all we got. I tip my hat off to him. I have that much respect for him, and I look at him as a brother. With that said, everything is going to come out, the energy, the passion, the love, the fight, and we'll make up in the end. There's no craziness. I failed myself, and I failed the team. Watching that game kind of pissed me off, and I did that. That was CeeDee Lamb reflecting on his performance and his body language in the Ravens um, after the Ravens' loss. Wide receivers are generally divas. Okay. Another quote from him. Honestly, I, I wish I actually had, I, I'm looking for the whole video interview of this because I definitely want to get this. Honestly, I got to be more truthful to myself and I played a part in that loss. A big part, honestly, and nor did my body language nor attitude approaching the situation help the situation or the outcome of this game. You know what? <clears throat> I'm going to say this much. And it's amazing because as I, my thoughts came through my head, my beautiful bride of 21 years who has taught me a lot through adversity, okay? She has really, I mean, listen, you know, when you're in any kind of relationship, you're going to have good days and bad days. You're going to have days where you get your teeth kicked in like you did against New Orleans. And that's when you find out who's, who's going to be about it and who's not, okay? But my wife always said to me, because whenever I'd mess up, and believe me, I've messed up a lot in my life. All she ever asked for is to say, own your shit. Own your shit. Because when you recognize that you made a mistake, because everybody makes mistakes. Everybody does some stupid shit. But it's the cover up or the, the denial that keeps you from getting ahead. And so I'm happy that CeeDee Lamb recognizes like he did in the offseason when he said, I've got some growing up to do. I've got some growing up to do. He's owning his shit at least. And it's not so much, it's kind of like if you declare bankruptcy, okay, you declare bankruptcy. After about a year of being bankrupt, 
what the banks and the credit card companies look at you and say, you screwed up, but what are you going to do from here on forward? What are you going to do to change what you did? And that's how you're able to get credit again or credibility. And this is great that CD Lamb is recognizing I got to be better. I can't, I have to be stable. I have to be calm when everything else around me is going crazy. I can't be on the sidelines screaming, I'm going to be here all day or on the field having a tensor tantrum. You're going to screw up. It's in all of our nature. But you've got to be able to move on, move past it. I'm excited to see him understand that that is not acceptable. And maybe, just maybe, this will be a teachable moment, a learning moment, and an opportunity to get this shit together. So, I'm happy about that. And I hope, I hope that this game, I don't, I don't think people r recognize how important this game is. Because everything, right now, the Dallas Cowboys are literally eating and feeding on themselves. We've got the finger pointing, you know, and everybody after two losses at home and panic is setting in and everybody wanting to win and basically not looking at themselves and saying, I have a part in this. What this team has to do is they have to heal and come together. I, I, I like what I heard with him where he said, we ain't got nobody else. We all we got. Okay. I just hope it doesn't end up being like New Jack City where he gets a hug and then gets his brains blown out by, of course, Nino Brown. You know, you know the scene. We all we got. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I am. Bang. So hats off to CeeDee Lamb. Let's just go out here. You know, Micah, D-Law, you know, everybody out here who's talking about what we should be doing or going to do, how about we go out there and we actually do that shit? Let's do this. Let's take out all of this bad shit on the New York Giants, get a win, get a couple of extra days to recoup, to refocus, and get ready for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Alrighty, good people. You are up to speed with everything that's going on. I, I love this from, from Foots. Um, <laughs> Foots says, Foots the King, shout out to Foots. Bro, get off Twitter and lock in. You, Micah, CD, and all y'all get off the phone and get back in the lab. And that's, uh, of course, Diggs too. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm tired of talk. Talk is cheap. Let's see some action. Already good people. Peace.